Hey there folks, you are at the right place, this is Diwali. We're giving out an iPhone 8 for being good, recommending good. For details, check the video description below and remember to subscribe to the channel, it's called Power Drift, to win this one. How's that going? Great! Just like Kerala. It's the gen from Top Gear. I'm really sorry about all of that. We just did what we could to get behind the wheel of those cars. Ah, uh, no problem man, I understand. You know what they say, right? Everything is fair in love and war and automotive reviews. <laughs> so anyways, I'm so glad that's all behind us now. And I just wanted to thank you for bringing me out here. This place is gorgeous. Uh, also, sir, you mentioned that you had something for me? Yes. Glenn, you're a nice man. It's been a pleasure working with you. Well, actually, there's something I wanted to have and well, here it is open. This is impossible You can write it on the wall If it makes you feel And just like that, I was given the keys to the all-new Hyundai Verna and left at my own discretion to explore the beautiful Southern India. Keep talking of love and fate Justifying the things you say All right, the all new Verna then. Well, everything about this car is brand new, starting with the platform. It's based on the K2 platform, which is the same as the Elantra. So it's bigger and wider than before. In addition to that, 50% of the body structure is made from advanced high strength steel. So it is also more rigid than before. Now, when it comes to design, it's safe to say that the new Verna isn't as bold as its outgoing model. However, it's still a handsome brute. You get a cascading front grille, bigger headlamp housings, newly designed 16 inch alloys, but it still maintains that strong Verna-like shoulder line. Towards the rear, it takes a more coupe-like stance. Now, in addition to the new design, Hyundai has launched a slew of new colors. This one is called Fury Red, but my personal favorite is a shade called Sunburst Orange, but we don't have that with us today. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dude! How do you always manage to get behind the wheel of a car? You know, you're not the only one with friends, right? So Rithwik and I headed to the hills to find out if the new Verna was all that it was made out to be. First off, the entire dash is angled towards the driver and this is pretty nice, I kind of like it that way. You get this updated 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and this is also an IPS display, so the pixel density is really good. It comes with a rear parking camera and dynamic guidelines. In addition to that, you get this Archimus sound system, which honestly, folks, is really, really, really good. You get a cool glove box, you get a sunroof, and these buttons down here are for the ventilated seats. Yes, no more sweaty backs, and this is a segment first. Now, the fit and finish and quality of materials used on the inside is absolutely top-notch. And now, coming to the rear seat... Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Yo, Ritwik, come in, Ritwik. Yeah, Glenn, what is it? Hey, buddy. Do you want to drive the manual for a little while? Oh, man. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Awesome! So, the rear seat then. Well, first thing viewers, I have to apologize. In my first drive review, I said that the wheelbase hasn't increased, but I was wrong. The wheelbase has increased by 30 millimeters with the new platform and that has resulted in over 40 millimeters increase in the leg room and a marginal increase in shoulder room as well. Now, it is definitely a noticeable improvement over the older model, but to be honest, it isn't as roomy as some of its competitors. That being said, the back is well equipped. You get a rear AC vent, charging port, 1 litre bottle holders, adjustable headrests, and a rear privacy screen. The boot space has now increased to 480 litres.
There is an app that allows you to control the Avian uh, system of the car so you can control things like the volume, play, pause, audio as well. But the real highlight is this app called Autolink. Basically, there is a device that is connected to the OBD port that streams live telemetry to the app. You get engine speed, engine load, car speed, driving time, a live eco score and so on. I guess he likes those ventilated seats just a little too much. Hyundai have stopped offering that 4-speed auto box and instead have upgraded the new Verna to the 6-speed auto box for both petrol and diesel options. However, to keep costs competitive, you can't get the top-end diesel automatic in the top-end trim SXO variant. So essentially you miss out on features like the ventilated seats, Hyundai's Autolink app and that supervision cluster. However, if you want those features, you can still get them in the top-end petrol SXO automatic variant. So, how does the Autobox perform? Well, let's find out. Now, this is a standard torque converter unit, so you still get a bit of that elastic -y feel when you put your foot down. However, the power delivery is nice and predictable and it hasn't really misshifted. It doesn't seem to have a mind of its own. It's done exactly what I've wanted it to. And even in these conditions with these narrow B-roads, for quick overtaking maneuvers, it has been absolutely spot on. Now, I know that there are other cars in this segment that offer faster dual clutch transmissions, but to be honest, in these conditions, I don't really seem to be missing one. And we've been averaging about 16 kilometers per liter in these conditions, and in the highways, we got close to 20 kilometers per liter. That coupled with a 45 liter fuel tank actually makes this a great option for long distance cruising. Hey, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. stop. That manual is too much work. Just give me back my automatic. But where are you gonna go? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Safety is at the forefront with the new Verna, as is with all Hyundai cars. So you get dual airbags, ABS with EBD, uh, ISOFIX mount, and all of this is standard across the range. However, this top-end variant that we're driving, the SXO variant, actually comes with six airbags. So you also get side and curtain airbags. When it comes to engine options, at the moment you only get a 1.6 for petrol and diesel. However, in the future, the 1.4 series of engines might make a comeback. The diesel we have here today produces 127 bhp, 260 newton meters of torque that comes in from 1500 rpm. Now that coupled with this six-speed manual gearbox, oh, this gearbox is such a great gearbox to use. I genuinely, genuinely love it. The throws are absolutely perfect. Now the other big update with the Verna is the suspension. Essentially, they've added a hydraulic rebound stopper. They've changed the angle of the shock. The short answer is all this tweaking around has worked really well. The ride quality is still nice and supple. The car really wafts along the road at slower speeds. With 165 millimeters of ground clearance, we've been driving through cities and through potholes and speed breakers. At no point has the car bottomed out, so that's really great. But when it comes to the handling side of things, this car is completely different. I mean, it has so much more grip to offer, especially the rear. It feels so much more planted at higher speeds and in the corners, it holds its weight so well. You can really, really push this car in the corners. This coupled with the fact that the chassis is also more rigid now. The tires that come stock with the car are these Hankook Kinergy tires. And these tires are actually designed with keeping a very low rolling resistance in mind to offer maximum fuel efficiency. This coupled with the fact that they've also reworked the steering on the car. The steering is weighted perfectly. It isn't too light, it isn't too heavy and the communication, the feedback I'm getting through the steering is also extremely impressive considering that this is an electrically assisted rack. All in all, what I have to say about the handling is that at slow speeds ride quality is good but the handling is great. The new Verna is a more complete package. It offers something for everyone. 
it's comfortable, it handles well, it's powerful, it's feature loaded and starting from a price of 7.99 lakhs, it's aggressively priced as well. It looks like the new Verna then is another hit for Hyundai. Thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.